Connection can be hard. We strive to make it easier. After leading a two-day retreat for a company, the managers were all saying, how can we do this so that it doesn't have to be a year again before we have this connection that we currently have? And they had all been part of meetings virtually that sucked, and they didn't want to do that. And I challenged them to say, wait a minute, you guys have never had a meeting together before. You don't have that culture yet. And you don't have to have virtual meetings that suck. And so we led them through a process in which they could have engaging monthly meetings in which they really got stuff done. Their productivity has gone way up. Their sales have gone way up. And here's three things out of the list of things that we help them walk them through that they're implementing every day. Before they meet, they get really clear about what the intent is. And if they realize the intent is for the boss just to share some information, they find other ways to do that. If the intent is about engaging, then they consider what are they engaging about? Why are they engaging about it? And who's it gonna impact? And they share that at the beginning of the meeting. Then they immediately move into connection before content. There's a video around here somewhere, a link to that. Easily applied to a virtual space. Get people connected before you get into the work. That way they can bridge, build a bridge across their different silos and actually uplift the organization as a whole. And the third thing that they would do is created a driving question one that maybe potentially couldn't even get answered. One I remember that they had was, what's missing? They were about to expand into some international uh, markets, and they knew that there was some stuff that they weren't considering, especially the upper management. And so when they pulled the management team together, the question was, what's missing? The presence of which would make a difference here. And they began to have a conversation and they could see the gaps. And with those gaps created more questions. When they left the meeting, they went off and discovered what the answer was for those gaps, was able to bring that together, create a model to expand into new territories and sales has, goes, has gone up. So I hope those three things will help you make it so that virtual meetings don't suck. And if you need some more help, Reach out to myself, Will Wise, or Chad Littlefield at We and Me Inc. And we'd love to be able to help you through a process to make it so that your virtual meetings are engaging and worth the time and effort that you're putting into them. Cheers.